Hey everyone. So earlier today, after I Ubered for almost two hours, got up early, I was done Ubering by seven and um, know that I needed to get some exercise, some cardio, um, some muscular endurance, some strength. Um, so I started to just do a little workout in the backyard with a jump rope. So I did two sets of jump rope and my hip was feeling good. So I I did my little synovial fluid warm up on my joints, got my knees ready, got my got my hips ready, my knees ready, my ankles ready. Um, so I decided to run, to try running. And I really won't know till tomorrow or later, but right now I'm feeling pretty good. I did real light. I did a half a mile, slow. Um, I even tried keeping my feet apart because that seems to help when it went. It just seems to help. Um, and then I did a lot of like planks and push-ups. I even did some planks that were off of that, um, right there. I had my feet up on the board and my hands by the, on the cement and I was doing like, I followed somebody yesterday doing a couple of those. So I did two knees to the chest and then push up. Two knees to the chest, push up, it was good. So I then I went back out and I ran a little bit more, just a little bit. I probably ran, like I ran up the little incline, walked, was feeling good, ran again, um, and then walked, finished with a walk. Um, so I did a lot of lunges today and some squats, just like a little bit of everything. But I did it for about 25 minutes. So now I'm gonna do a flexibility workout. Cause I was sitting here and I started to do some stuff. So I was like, let me just record. Remember to record. So I started off in a straddle stretch. Okay, I'm gonna turn this way. So my but I took my shoes off and I'm on cement. I'm on these pavers. So if you could do it on cement, I'm in the shade, but it's, it's warm. And wherever your legs go out, like even if you're just here, okay, that's okay for you. Sorry to bottom my feet. But however wide you go, do it, okay? And then like adjust your butt trying to get your sit bones into the ground. I rock back and forth to just kind of loosen up. And my hips, where's my water? So I'm just rocking back and forth, take, just moving my upper torso. And when I go over to the left, like I'm trying to keep my right butt cheek down into the ground. And then I inhale over to my left. Don't let this hip come up. So you don't want to like keep lifting up on the hips. You're trying to keep that hip, that tailbone into the ground and feel length. That's what I'm going for. Okay, so sit up tall, roll your shoulders down and back. Okay, I'm always trying to like, you know, let's see, let's see what I do. So I just pull my toes back, dig my heel into the ground, and then relax my legs. So then my toes just kind of relax. And then go forward a little bit. Okay, always lifting here in the chest, always pushing the shoulders down away from your ears, and always think thinking length out of your, the crown of your head. Stretching can be a whole workout because what I'm also doing is lifting my abdominal wall. Every time I'm going over to the left to come back up right, I have to use these muscles right here, your obliques. They contract, bring me up right, and then I go over, okay? All right, so now that I've been in this position for a while, I can bring my legs back in. Okay, feel normal again. Shake them out straight in front of you. Now, if you cannot reach over and touch your toes, okay, while lifting your chest, shoulders down, lift through here. If you cannot reach out right now and touch your toes, then what I want you to do is to bend your knees some, okay? So my back stays straight, I'm all lifted here. And now, again, I'm gonna take my, they drag my heels here, I'm gonna show you now. Okay, 
So if my legs are straight, I'm gonna take my heels, lift them off the ground. So you flex here, let those heels reach forward and grab some cement and then relax your feet. Relax all your, your muscles. So now you'll start feeling your body go forward a little bit. You might be able to go down. I don't want this, okay? And for those of you who cannot do this, bend your knees up so your chest goes here. Grab your toes. You could still get a really good stretch on your hamstrings with your knees bent. You're trying to take your chest to your thighs without hunching over, okay? Lift, lift here in the chest. Look straight ahead. And as you get better, you could lift those heels up and push them forward a little bit more. So you're slowly starting to length out the legs but also lifting and lengthening out your back muscles, okay? All right, let's shake that out a little bit. Bring one knee in, let everything relax, okay? All right, let's do a butterfly stretch, okay? Pull the, your heels in, soles of your feet touching each other. Now, again, I'm always going to talk about lifting your chest and lengthening your spine. Okay, now here I'm trying to have length going out of the crown of my head, but also the opposite length going into the floor. Okay, so take all of that and go in opposite directions. Elbows into your inside of your legs, into your knees, only grabbing your ankles. Don't grab your feet. Too many bones and muscles going on in the okay elbows into the knees lift the chest inhale first through the nose as you exhale push the knees out and lean forward you don't have to go far you won't go far you're gonna feel the tightness this is where you're feeling it right here all right you'll want to curl over don't curl over stay lifted press your shoulders away from your ears press down on your knees and lean forward. Shake it out. Try again, maybe. Grab your ankles only, elbows into the knees, lift the chest, push the shoulders away, which forces your elbows into your knees. Inhale first. Exhale, press the knees out and lean forward. You can keep exhaling. Go exhale as long as you can. Inhale, you can relax on the knees. Inhale, lengthen the back, lift the chest. Exhale, press out the knees, lean forward. Okay, so I'm also getting a nice little stretch across my upper back when I press down on those knees. You can shake that out, readjust. All right, so I have hip issues. So to help with my hip issues, I can make sure my hand is tough. I'm gonna roll down. And even rolling down, think about how you do that. Engage, go through your spine, keep pushing all these layers of your spine, push down into the floor and roll out through your hip, okay? On this one, you're gonna cross your right leg over your left knee, okay? So automatically you're gonna start feeling the stretch here as your knee push, right knee pushes out to the right. You're gonna pick up your left foot. No, let's just do the simple one. Simple one, I just grab my um, right foot with my left hand. Right hand sits right here. And just as soon as you start putting a little bit of pressure on it, you're gonna start feeling all this open up. But now I want you to inhale, grabbing your foot Make sure that foot is actually sitting on that upper thigh towards the knee. Inhale first. And as I exhale, I'm pressing my right hand into my inside of my right knee and pulling my right foot towards me with my left hand. But also I can put some, use my left foot. If I pick up my left foot, it increases it, okay? But I don't even have to do that. Just push and pull, inhale. Exhale, mentally and physically, send oxygen through your spine and into this hip. You can even press a little up with your right hand towards your knee. Just stay here a little bit. Back 
that really helps me to open up my hips. I'm gonna release out of that one. Switch legs. Left leg comes up. I put my left ankle and foot heel onto my right knee, right thigh. Left hand sits right here, wherever you feel comfortable, whatever you gotta open up. You can go closer to your hip, you can go closer to your knee. Inhale first, exhale. Oh, also, if you flex this foot, you'll get a whole nother stretch too, and it really opens up. So I'm pulling my left foot towards me. I grab the whole foot. I'm, I'm still feeling length through my spine though too. Pushing my lower back into the ground, pull it. You're doing a lot of stuff. You can even like give your quads a massage here. Whatever you need. If you want to put, pick up this foot, pull it in, push away a little more. You can grab under here. Okay. Take that left elbow, put it inside that left knee. Inhale and exhale. I'm pulling my right leg towards me, pushing my left knee out. I love this one. This one really opens you up. You heard my breath there. I was like forcing that oxygen down into the area. Let's just loosen up here. Rock side to side, pushing the opposite knee towards the ground. Loosen up that back. Roll up. Uh, let's see what else can we do here. That's actually all I like to do for um, a nice back release, hip release. We can do the, uh, what they call Vogue pose. Cross the left over the right. An extension of what we just did on our backs, you know. Left hand goes really close to my back. You can see it back there. It helps like elongate my spine. I think of that as like my crutch to go against. Instead of putting my weight in that hand and leaning back, a lot of people do this. Sit up tall first. Wrap this hand around. Now I'm lengthening through my spine. Now I need you to see my head. Okay. So I'm here. I'm tall. I always tell my students, think lengthen your spine right here. Inhale first. Fill your lungs with air. And as you exhale, you're going to first rotate here, then rotate here, and then rotate the head. Let's exhale. Go torso, shoulders, head. Pulling this leg in. Give myself a nice twist. And as I'm in this twisted position, inhale. Lift the lungs as they're twisted. And exhale. You'll feel everything like exit your body. Release it, shake out, switch. Right over left, right hand close to your right butt cheek. Grab the knee, looking straight ahead first, inhale. Exhale, go torso, shoulders, head. Pulling here. release the breath and that's pretty much it something real quick what was that 14 minutes of stretching not bad nice out peace